Hey, hey, it's your boy G Pack from Chirac. Please don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Man, this is crazy right here. Just imagine you and your girl, y'all out on the town. Y'all figure y'all just come out from leaving dinner. Come on, baby, let's go to the casino. Y'all go to the casino. Y'all gambling. Y'all taking shots. Y'all having drinks. Oh, baby, it'd be so nice if we hit that jackpot. You know, we could pay some of these bills down. We could take a trip or whatever, you know. So these people, the whole time, they're getting stuck in the uh, casino. There are three guys allegedly watching them to follow them home to rob them. So all of a sudden, they hit the jackpot. But it wasn't them but $3,000. So these guys seen them and must have thought it was a, a lot more than what it was. Guess what? These guys followed these people home. So, you know, these people are everyday working people, you know, taxpaying citizens. You know, they're not like me, you know, from the streets. They had their antennas up like me, you know, watching for things like this because they figure they're working class people. They don't bother nobody. They live in a nice community. So they're not in their rear view mirror like I am. You know, I'm looking sad, you know, I'm watching. So they followed these people home. They're lucky to be alive. They're lucky they had ring camera and their neighbors intervened. So enough of me talking, I'm going to run you guys the news clip. You're not going to believe this. Ends violently as a Bay Area couple goes from celebrating a big win to feeling lucky to be alive. They were followed home from the Hard Rock only to be shot and robbed once they got home. Fox News team Genevieve Curtis spoke with a couple tonight about this heroin crime and apparently a bit of a long road of recovery ahead of them, huh? Yeah, absolutely. They definitely have a healing journey ahead of them, Mark. It was a horrific ordeal for this couple. Both of them shot in their legs outside of their home. They tell me their life will never be the same, but it all started with a great date night, and they told me they were so wrapped up in enjoying that time together that they didn't even notice they were being followed. We want to warn you that some of this video that you are about to watch might be difficult. I hear another gunshot, and my first thought was they killed him. I was hysterical, screaming, crying. These are the terrifying moments when a Riverview couple was ambushed in their driveway, both of them shot by masked men demanding money. The chilling ring doorbell video captures Val de la Cruz, who was shot in both legs, pleading with the suspects, standing over him with two guns. One of them covers the camera. A neighbor came outside, and the men ran back to the car and drove away. I came in sleep. Val is in unbearable pain, unable to walk, and doctors say it could be six months. His girlfriend, Kim Chambliss, was shot in her calf. The couple says Thursday, August 1st, started off as their monthly date night. Uh, we don't get to do it often just because right. we both work extremely hard. The couple capped off the night at the Hard Rock Casino. Val joked he needed to win money back from dinner and drinks. I hit it and I got a jackpot. And, you know, I was dancing. Not once to press their luck, the couple cashed out with about $3,000 in winnings and drove home to Riverview. Investigators say these two men, Marcus Jenkins and Tristan Wright, were watching them the whole time. We're just average people, you know, who are out having a good time, you know, who love each other and, and enjoying each other's company. Right. And to know that Romantic we evening. We didn't even realize that people were following us every step of the way. It's scary. It's scary. How many people did you do that to? Investigators say the suspects followed the couple throughout the casino for two hours and then all the way to their home where they robbed the couple of Val's watch and jewelry and took Kim's purse. But the couple says they lost much more than that. We've always felt safe in our home, safe in the neighborhood. Every, you know, to have that taken away, to have um, just such an insecure feeling. Now, Val owns his own company, and as you can imagine, it is difficult to work right now, so they are facing mounting medical bills on top of this. They have set up a fundraiser to help with those expenses. Now, HCSO investigators are still working to identify the third suspect in this crime. Both Jenkins and Wright face charges of attempted first-degree murder. You hear that? They followed those people for two hours. Them dudes were thirsty as mountain lions. For $3,000, now 
Now they finna do the rest of their life in jail. So a lot of you people watch this video, share this video, that like to go to the casino and to gamble and have fun. So next time, if you go to the boat, you win that money, man, get a check or get it wired to your bank account. And that's G-Pap and Chirac, and I'm out.